Hi there. My name is Ms. Emily. I'm a librarian at the Mooresville Public Library in Mooresville, Indiana, and I'm so glad you're here for Dogman Trivia. So welcome to Dogman Trivia. We are going to have some fun with the Dogman series and characters today. I hope you are ready. So before we start trivia, I do want to let you know of some upcoming programs that we have. On December 7th at 1 p.m., uh, our virtual program Art for Everyone, Charlie Harper Inspired Winter Birds will be available on YouTube. You can get your packets here at the library and that will be hosted by Miss Megan. So on December 14th at 1 p.m. we'll have a video on how to make pizza roll-ups. So that's a tasty snack or lunch that you can make when you're feeling hungry. And then just a reminder that we will not have any programs the weeks of December 21st or 28th, and we will resume our virtual programming on January 4th. So go ahead and get out your Dogman trivia sheet. If you have your packet from the library, it's in there. Uh, if you don't have that, that's okay. All you need is a piece of paper that has room for 20 answers on it. So if you have some notebook paper or just some plain computer paper, any of that would work. Everybody got that ready? Remember, since this is a video, you can pause at any time to get the materials that you need. Our trivia rules. We have 20 questions that we're going through. I'll read each question twice so you'll have lots of time to answer. And of course, since this is a video, you can always pause if you need an extra few seconds. Even though you're doing this on your own, just watching the video, be honest. That's always a good idea. If you are watching this video with a brother or sister or a parent or a friend, uh, keep your answers to yourself until the end of the round and then you'll get to compare your answers with the other person. And then you can see our link to the tr Dogman Trivia Master Certificate in the video. If you didn't get your packet at the library, you can still print that out. Okay, it's time for question number one. Every Dogman book contains a special section that brings the illustrations to life. What is that section called? You can see a picture of an example on the screen. So question number one, every Dogman book contains a special section that brings the illustrations to life. What is that section called? Question number two, what are the names of the two best friends who created Dogman? You can see their pictures right there. What are the names of the two best friends who created Dogman? Question number three. How many Dogman books have been published so far? There are three on the screen, but we know that there are more than that. How many are there? How many Dogman books have been published so far? Question number four. Who is the real author of the Dogman books? See his picture there. Who is the real author of the Dogman books? Question number five. Dogman was created by combining the body of a police officer and the head of a police dog. What are their names? Dogman was created by combining the body of a police officer and the head of a police dog. What are their names? Question number six. Name that character. What is this character's name? You can see a picture on the screen. What is this character's name?
Question number seven. In Dogman and Cat Kid, what job did the world's greatest actress, Yole Caprizi, have for Dogman? In Dogman and Cat Kid, what job did the world's greatest actress, Yole Caprizi, have for Dogman? Question number eight. What is Dogman's superhero name? What is Dogman's superhero name? Question number nine. Dogman and Lil Petey aren't the only two superheroes in this series. What is news reporter Sarah Hatoff's superhero identity? Dogman and Lil Petey aren't the only two superheroes in this series. What is news reporter Sarah Hadoff's superhero identity? Question 10. What does F-L-E-A-S, or FLEAS, stand for? What does FLEAS, F-L-E-A-S, stand for? Question number 11. When Petey was a kitten, what club was Petey a member of, known for doing good deeds and earning merit badges? So question 11. When Petey was a kitten, what club was Petey a member of, known for doing good deeds and earning merit badges? Question number 12. When will the Dog Man spin-off graphic novel series, Cat Kid Comic Club, be released? When will the Dog Man spin-off graphic novel series, Cat Kid Comic Club, be released? Brand new book. Question 13. What is the name of the Dog Man book's imaginary publisher? What is the name of the Dogman Books imaginary publisher? Question 14. What classic book is Dogman Lord of the Fleas inspired by? What classic book is Dogman Lord of the Fleas inspired by? Question 15. In Dogman Fetch 22, what TV show do Dogman, Lil Petey, and ADHD love to watch? In Dogman Fetch 22, what TV show do Dogman, Lil Petey, and ADHD love to watch? Question 16. What two words does Lil Petey program into ADHD so they no longer have to obey other people. What two words does Lil Petey program into ADHD so they no longer have to obey other people? Question 17. What character are we learning to draw? What character is on the screen? Question 18. What character are we, we learning to draw here? What character are we learning to draw? Question 19. What character are we learning to draw? What is this one? What character are we learning to draw? And last but not least, question number 20. What character are we learning to draw? Which one is this? What character are we learning to draw? Okay, friends, that is all of our Dogman trivia questions. So we're going to go back through the questions and tell you the answers. While you are looking at your paper, put a check mark next to any question that you got right. Okay, question number one, 
Every Dogman book contains a special section that brings the illustrations to life. What is that section called? Let's see. Flip-O-Rama. That's right. Flip-O-Rama. Give yourself a check mark if you got that right. Question two. What are the names of the two best friends who created Dogman? They are George and Harold. George and Harold. Question number three. How many Dogman books have been published so far? Answer is nine. Oh my goodness. Question four. Who is the real author of the Dogman books? It is Dave Pilkey. Question five. Dogman was created by combining the body of a police officer and the head of a police dog. What are their names? Do you remember? Officer Knight and Greg the dog. That's a hard one. Question number six. Name that character. What is this character's name? That is the poodle Zuzu. Question seven. In Dogman and Cat Kid, what job did the world's greatest actress, Yole Caprizi, have for Dogman? He was her bodyguard. Nice job. Question eight. What is Dogman's superhero name? He is the Bark Knight. Question nine. Dogman and Lil Petey aren't the only two superheroes in this series. What is news reporter Sarah Hatoff's superhero identity? She is Purse Lady. Question 10. What does F-L-E-A-S or Fleas stand for? Fuzzy Little Evil Animal Squad. Fuzzy Little Evil Animal Squad. Question 11. When Petey was a kitten, what club was Petey a member of, known for doing good deeds and earning merit badges? The Critter Scouts. He was a Critter Scout. Question 12. When will the Dogman spinoff graphic novel series, Cat Kid Comic Club, be released? December 1st, 2020. Maybe it's already happened if you're watching this video. Question 13. What is the name of the Dogman Books imaginary publisher that George and Harold made up? Treehouse Comics Incorporated. <laughs> Question 14. What classic book is Dogman Lord of the Fleas inspired by? Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Question 15. In Dogman Fetch 22, what TV show do Dogman, Lil Petey, and ADHD love to watch? The Fair Fairy. Question 16. What two words does Lil Petey program into ADHD so they no longer have to obey other people? Thou mayest. Thou mayest. Question 17. What character are we learning to draw? What character is this? It is Chief. Nice. Question 18. What character are we learning to draw here? Who is this? Commander Cupcake. Yes. Commander Cupcake. Question 19. What character are we learning to draw? Bub. Good job. And last but not least, question 20. What character are we learning to draw? Everybody shout it out. It's Dogman. Woo! Nice job, everyone. Okay, so go ahead and count up the number of check marks that you have on your trivia sheet. How many did you get right? Did you get 20 out of 20? Did you get 15 out of 20? Did you get 7 out of 20? Anybody get just 1 out of 20? 
you know what? You guys are fantastic no matter how many. You know why? Because you are excited about books, excited about Dog Man. All of you are Dog Man trivia heroes. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay, friends. In the description, you can find a link to your Trivia Champion certificate. You are welcome to print that out and keep it as a reminder of your trivia accomplishment today. Um, Or if you were able to stop by the library to get your packet, it will be included there. Just a reminder that we have our upcoming virtual programs And then December 21st and 28th, there are no programs, but you can always check out our YouTube page and see our past programs if you want something fun to do. If you stop by the library, you can get a packet with all kinds of fun stuff inside. It has our trivia sheet, which maybe you don't need at this point. That's okay. It has your trivia champion um certificate so you can remember your trivia mastery it has a really great at home fun packet with lots of activities things like um, word challenges and funny fill-ins and how to draw and um, story starters where you can make up your own stories coloring sheets word searches Um, All kinds of great things, some bookmarks on heavy paper that you can cut out and use. So that is your dog band at home fun. We'll have a link for a downloadable packet that has all the same stuff in it if you want to print one out. You'll also get a dog man button. We have five different designs that you can choose from. And our craft for today's program are these incredibly cute, I think, Dogman and PD paper bag puppets. So you get some blank paper bags and all the little parts that you'll need to uh, glue onto the bags. And you can color them and add the faces with a marker or a crayon. And then this is a great opportunity for you to be creative like George and Harold and create your own Dogman NPD scenes, maybe with a friend or a brother or sister. As you know, I always like to give you some suggestions for books that you might enjoy. So if you like the Dogman books and you've read all of them and you're looking for something new, I have three series that I brought today. And I also have a link in the description of a bunch of different graphic novels and books that you might like even beyond this. The first one I'd like to suggest is Investigators. This is by John Patrick Green, and it's about two alligators who are detectives, and they are trying to solve mysteries. They are sewer-loving agents of SUIT, which is Special Undercover Investigation Team, and they are the scourge of supervillains everywhere. They have very exciting spy technology and toilet-based travel techniques. So investigators, it's silly, it's fun, it is crime fighting. If you like Dogman, I think you'll like this one. I'd also like to suggest uh, The Bad Guys by Aaron Blabby. This is a really fun book that talks about like the bad guys in stories like the shark and the wolf and the piranha and they don't want to be villains anymore. They want to be good guys. So they are trying to prove that they are they are good guys and all kinds of funny things happen. So check out The Bad Guys. There are several books in this series. If you like it, you can keep reading. The last one I brought today is The Misadventures of Salem Hyde. This is by Frank Camuso. The first book in the series is called Spelling Trouble. And this is about a young witch Salem Hyde, who is stubborn and impulsive, and her parents get her an animal companion. This is Percival J. Wamsfer III, who is an over-anxious cat, uh, doesn't like that Salem calls him Whammy, and uh, Salem is getting into all kinds of trouble, 
She enters the school spelling bee thinking it's about magic and doesn't realize it's actually about spelling words. So it's a very silly book, a lot of fun. Salem High, The Misadventures of Salem Hyde. Check that one out. So thanks for joining me for Dogman Trivia. I hope you had fun. No matter how many right answers you got, I'm glad that you're excited about Dogman and all of those fun books. Take care, and we'll see you next time.